Well, uh, at the moment, on Lenin Square, uh, not too many protesters. Earlier today, though, there were a couple of thousand of pro-Moscow uh, demonstrators who were shouting, Russia, Russia. They were demanding a referendum on giving this part of the country, this part of Ukraine, greater autonomy. They were denouncing the government in Kiev as illegitimate, and they marched off from Lenin Square through the city centre to the local headquarters of Ukraine's security service. There, they demanded that one of their leaders who'd been arrested a few days ago uh, was released. They smashed some of the windows. They tried to push their way into that building. Uh, some of them actually did get inside the building. Then they left it uh, and went away. And we expect another large pro-Moscow demonstration tomorrow. But tension has been building, not only in Donetsk, but also across eastern Ukraine. Uh, here in this city, uh, one a uh, protester was killed earlier this week uh, at a demonstration on the square in Kharkov uh, overnight. Uh, two people were, were, were shot dead. And there is a fear among some people here that this violence, this unrest and instability could be used by Moscow as some kind of pretext to launch a military intervention uh, into eastern Ukraine. And, and is tomorrow's referendum seen as a potential uh, trigger for that or or perhaps that, that would be enough to satisfy Moscow? It's, it's not clear at all. We heard a very strong statement today from the Russian foreign ministry back in Moscow saying that the Russians had been receiving requests from civilians in Ukraine for Moscow to protect them. And that statement said that Moscow was examining those requests. So what does that mean? Does it mean that, is that a hint that the Russians are thinking about acting and moving troops into eastern Ukraine because of the instability, because of the violence we've been seeing in the last few days? Or is this simply part of the war of words? We don't know. But certainly we're expecting another big pro-Moscow, pro-Russia rally tomorrow on this square. And there is uh, certainly tension here.